Hey guys, Attic Cyclist here with a unveiling of the highly anticipated bike build here. Um, so I, as you can see, I ordered a Factor Ostro in the Flicker color, which is the same colorway of uh, Israel Startup Nation. And um, basically what I'll be doing is creating a vlog series about the bike, kind of go through some of the build, uh, some of the things that I'll be doing to the frame, uh, some of the spec that I chose, some of the uniqueness uh, about factor in general and kind of, you know, ride impressions, um, you know, and kind of use the vlog, you know, a couple part series about, you know, what I think about it comparing to my system six and my Scott Attic team issue that I had in my LA sprint, um, and other bikes that I've owned through the years. So, uh, just to kind of run down here, what makes factor unique is I think they're the only direct to consumer company that makes a custom build. You know, you've got, Canyon, for instance, you know, they, they make, you know, different levels, uh, whether the frame set uh, quality in terms of carbon uh, and then the group set. Uh, but factor, you literally build from scratch. You choose your frame, you choose your color, you choose your seat post setback, which I went with zero degrees. Uh, you choose your handlebar width, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, in your stem length or your integrated stem length. You choose your group set, you choose your chain ring size, you choose your cassette sizes. You choose your crank arm length. Um, you know, and you, and you choose your, let's just go down to the wheels. You choose the wheel depth, whether it's 30 millimeters, 40 millimeters, uh, or 60. Uh, you choose the tires you want, whether they are going to be tube or tubeless. I chose tube because I run latex. Um, obviously, you know, if you look at the spec on these bikes, you know, I'm not going to go into the detail. You can find that on the Canyon site, uh, but they spec the free hub, the wheel bearings, uh, unnecessary, but headset, ceramic speed. This is the new T47 bottom bracket, which is modular. So it can fit a 30 millimeter spindle. It can fit dubbed 29, uh, and it comes with adapter cups for Shimano, um, 24 millimeter. Um, so you can get this bike in Altegra DI2. Dura Ace, DI2, SRAM Force, and SRAM Red. So I ended up going with Altegra because I got in a, on a campaign offer. Uh, so I was a little bit more limited in terms of my offerings, but if you were to build this bike and you go to the factory website, you can literally spec the entire bike, literally a custom bike all under one roof. Uh, no one else is doing this. You know, you get a high-end frame set from Cervelo, uh, Pinarello, yeah, you get the seat post, you'll get the handlebars. Um, and sometimes the bottom bracket, but that's it. You know, factors literally offering direct to consumer, highest quality carbon fiber frame you can buy, you know, quality control uh, standard basically because factor owns their own factory. Uh, so they can do things and spend extra time on things and put top of the line components uh, into the frame, uh, top tech, top tier carbon frame, um, and still deliver it at a price point that is lower than the competition. Basically, I built this bike uh, for, with everything that you're gonna see here, out the door, which included shipping, which included US tax, included VAT, which everything was basically covered by factor for $8,200. Uh, and it includes this uh, Celli Italia SLR uh, Boost Superflow uh, Carbino saddle, which retails for over $450. So that's included in every frame set. Uh, it comes about 70% complete. Uh, so the cables are run for DI2. The brake lines are obviously run, uh, which you'll have to um, install into the integrated handlebars, which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, a couple other tidbits in the uh, the build box and a couple other things that are unique to factor. So just kind of get a couple angles here. I'm not gonna take everything off. I'm gonna be spending some time with my friend to uh, paint protection film this frame with 3M. So, I mean, this frame is absolutely gorgeous. It's basically exposed raw carbon. Um, that's basically just kind of, you know, high gloss clear coat. I don't know if it does it justice, but you can see the exposed carbon throughout the entire frame. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely massive bottom bracket, very similar to the Pinarello Dogmas. I mean, it is super chunky. Um, you know, I even passed the Durian Rider squeeze test uh, after comparing the down tube uh, stiffness, um, you know, that the SL7s are getting their, their name for right now um, on YouTube. So very, very stiff. I mean, it literally feels as stiff as the Specialized down to, that's on my Epic. I mean, it, it doesn't move, it barely flinches. 
Um, the fork is absolutely massive. Uh, they call this a wide stance fork because they designed it so the airflow can go through it opposed to around it. Um, and they created this little energizer channel here, which you can kind of see very similar to the System 6 a little bit um, to kind of help redirect the airflow. So I just am in absolutely love with this frame. It's a beautiful colorway, just enough color uh, to, to kind of contrast the natural black carbon. Um, you know, I did also like the chrome to look at, but to own it, I kind of like this flicker. When I saw it on Israel Startup Nation, it was fantastic. So one thing to note is the factors did have a literally one or two instances where there was an issue on the D-shaped steer, uh, where the mechanics in the World Tour were actually tightening it too, too far above spec. Um, and they also had an issue with a um, expansion plug that they used, which they fixed. Um, but again, this bike didn't go into production for you know, consumers for over a year, year and a half uh, from World, World Tour team testing and, and some pro circuit uh, continental teams. Uh, they also ended up going with a T47 threaded bottom bracket, which the original bikes uh, came with press kits. So they definitely spent some time uh, tweaking some of the things that kind of came up with this uh, frame. So by the time that they delivered it to the consumers, it was near flawless. Uh, so I, I couldn't be happier with the support. I mean, they're very, very fast to get back to me. Um, the ordering process was great. The transparency, um, communication. I did run into a situation where I did have them include for my, my price, the oversized pulley wheel system from Ceramic Speed. However, this bike was spec with a long cage rear derailleur. Uh, so the long cage rear derailleurs, uh, the clutch mechanism does not, it's not compatible with the Ceramic Speed OSPW. So um, I had them ship it out to me anyway, which was not included in the box, even though it's part of my build. Uh, but they did throw in some black ink carbon cages, which I'll share in a minute. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, again, it's been, it's just been really easy to work with them. And I know it's on the sales side, right? So, you know, when these manufacturers are looking to, to get these units out, of course, they're going to be responsive. So I just hope that it's the same. But I mean, as far as the miscellaneous part that was forgotten, they actually offered me a credit, uh, at their cost for the oversized bully wheel. Uh, but I chose to have them ship it out to me. So they literally stuck it in the mail same day and it is on its way. So I will be doing more details uh, and some, some um, additional videos when we go to actually do paint protection film. So I want to keep this frame looking, looking sharp, looking clean, nick free um, with some high you know, areas that may have uh, been or were prone to nicking, such as the front of the fork, obviously the down tube. You know, I'm going to clear film here. You know, so God forbid if the chain gets tossed, um, you know, it can keep, keep that protected. Obviously, the uh, chain stays. Uh, the seat stays are actually pretty small, but um, yeah, so just to kind of give you an overview of why I bought this. So I have a Cannondale System 6. It's the fastest road bike in existence uh, on the flats. Now, there's no debate about that. It's stiff. It's, it's fast, um, but it's actually so stiff that I needed something relatively fast um, and with a little bit more compliance. So looking at these seat stays here, um, they're definitely thin. They're definitely going to have some, uh, some support there. Uh, to help ease some of the uh, road vibration and some of the uh, bump compliance. Uh, so that was the reason why I, I wanted this frame, but I just fell in love with the way that it looked too. So I think it's one of the sharpest frames that you can buy. Uh, just to give you an idea, again, I'm up to 60 mil black ink wheels. Um, what's unique to, unique to these wheels is they use uh, two types of spokes. They use uh, Sapem CX Ray. I believe on the non-drive side and I believe sprint on the drive side to help with some more uh, strength um, when putting down power. So kind of unique to these wheels. They're absolutely beautiful to look at. You know, there's no actual decals. They were, well, they're decals, but they're actually, um, they're actually, um, you know, call it satin clear coated over so you can't peel them. I know some of my other wheels, like my knots over here, you know, on the Cannondale, I mean, they're just, decals I mean you know you can feel them you know didn't go the extra mile here to to uh, clear coat those those over here so just to give you a little look at inside the box so it comes with a build box so you get your ceramic speed and you get future discounts um, with your code that's unique to you so going forward a lifetime discount on ceramic speed um, it comes with bar tape comes with your accessories for your it's like Brake, brake lines, comes with a seat post clamp for both alloy and carbon, comes with an extra derailleur hanger, comes with some stem spacers, again some washers, spacers, depending upon which crank set you go with, 
got some extra hardware here, some grommets, top cap, top cap um, for the well, basically slamming the bars. And then it comes with all of your different size diameter cups, depending upon which cranks that you want to use. These are the ones that came in the frame for Shimano. They have 30 to 24 millimeters. So took those out because I won't be using those. I ended up going with a 42 centimeter and 100 millimeter on the stem, negative six degrees. So it comes pre-wired for DI2. What you gotta do is kind of plug those in there for the shifters and then run the brake lines. So again, super light, super high quality. I mean, this just beautiful stuff. And then I did mount the rotors as you saw um, but in the box, you got you know the black and carbon cages. Got some DI2 items here. Got your STI levers, brand new Shimano chain, um, and some other tidbits that we also added to the uh, to the frame here. So, and the saddle came obviously off the frame. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of give a little glimpse and overview of the project here. Super excited again, creating a vlog series. So I ask you to please like and subscribe so you can be notified on any updates. Uh, as I continue to, uh, to to finalize this build and some feedback as far as, you know, ride impressions of what I think about uh, this frame set overall. So, yeah, if you have any questions, you know, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I get back to everybody while my channel is obviously on the smaller side, so I have that kind of time. And I'll answer any questions, and uh, please feel free to share any comments. And, uh, yeah, please stay tuned. I appreciate the, uh, the time to watch this. And, uh, again, yeah, stay tuned. Be well. Thanks.